Welcome to another episode of Matthew Jordan Presents, where today we're going to talk about Tiger, 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 Tiger Woods, y'all. Tiger Woods. Woo! What's your name, sir? My name is Roman Tonsil, the verbal pugilist. I'm a motivational speaker. Then how do you feel about Tiger Woods winning his first tournament in five years? It's a comeback. You know, he had a little downfall with his uh, infidelity with his wife and his pernicious and slovenly behavior. I mean, you can't take a man who's worth millions of dollars and expect him to just lay with one girl. Now, I'm an alpha male. My, I have six children, all different six different baby mamas, okay. and all have been handpicked. So darkies hate us, whiteies want to be us as a mixed race no one can see us. More peanut butter beige babies. Subscribe to Matthew Jordan Presents. What do you attribute to Tiger's recent success? Like how did he get his stroke back? How did he get his stroke back? Focus, determination, practice, persistence. Fortitude, stamina, you know, do you think white girls helped at all? No, no, no. What about the white girls? <laughs> well, you might need the white girls, you know, just cut that part out. <laughs> so it has nothing to do with white girls? Uh, no, no, I don't get involved with that side is, you know. Uh, oh, you, you don't mess with white girls? Uh, oh yeah, I love them, you know. Oh, you love them? I, I love all girls. Uh, have you ever gone without anything for five years? Like my baby mother won't let me see my son because I won't give her more money. Because she called the other mothers and they say, well, you gave Erica $400 and... I have gone with five years without sex. Okay. Was that a personal choice or? It's just that. It's a cat and mouse game between all six of them, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever name your child after a wild animal? Uh. <laughs> Would you ever name your child after a wild animal like Tiger? Never. See, my boy's name is Draven Ducre Tonsil. It almost sounds like he could be an actor. Right, what about Armadillo Tonsil? Well, Armadillo sounds nice. I mean, Good question. it could be like Armadillo Cruz. Armadillo <laughs> Cruz. That actually sounds appealing. You know, how about a Duckbill Platypus Cruz? <laughs> uh, maybe, I might have to think about it. If what's, what's your last name? Wills. Wills. So we could do like Duckbill Platypus Wills? <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and there are a lot of water hazards in golf. What's the most hazardous thing you've ever done in your life? Being a drug dealer. Yeah, that was hazardous. I guess take a lot of drugs. I like Xanax, weed, crystal. So I don't do that no more though. So but see, I was an up, uh, um, a upscale drug dealer. I was, right. I'm in Hollywood with mine. I've been in Jamie Foxx house, been all this stuff. When I was selling the Faith Evans, all kinds of stuff. Boy, Rihanna used to come pick up X tabs for me all the time at the after hours. The most hazardous thing I've done in my life is um, using crystal. It has taken me into a spiritual realm where God revealed the existence of other beings from other planets. A lot of us are from other planets and I didn't know about that stuff. Oh, cocaine is the biggest drug for them, powder. They always want powder. And then they start doing little Percocets, you know, Norco, Zanny Bar, stuff like that a little bit. And understand one thing above all else, there is no such thing as God. That's ridiculous. There's no Allah, no Buddha, no Jesus, no nothing. I'm a scientist. I understand quantum physics. Do you think a God made this? <clears throat> Come on, stop it, stop it. That's just ridiculous. Subscribe to Matthew and Jordan Possess. Subscribe to Matthew Jordan Presents. I, I asked everybody out to, to, to subscribe to Matthew. Why you said that again? <laughs> subscribe to Matthew Jordan Presents. Tiger, Tiger Woods, yo. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Woo!